Good morning, visitors. The uh, Duluth area lift bridge will be lifting to its full height of 135 feet for the arrival of the Arthur and Manderson in the next few minutes. Howdy again, visitors. Talking about the boat again. Uh, the Arthur and Anderson just made their call out to the bridge, so the bridge is about to kick all the cars off and make sure all the pedestrians walk right off, and then they're going to be lifting. So now's the time to go watch. Good afternoon, visitors. Right now, coming through the canal, we have the Arthur M. Anderson. The Arthur M. Anderson was built in 1952 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,700 horsepower Westinghouse steam turbine engine, which gives her a top speed of 13 knots or about 50 miles per hour. She's also equipped with a bow and stern thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Arthur M. Anderson has 23 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holes located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 46 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 25,300 tons, and above her deck is a 250-foot self-loading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,700 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Anderson is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway, and operated by Helix Incorporated, also of Duluth. two short blasts of the horn. The Anderson is famous for being the last vessel to have visual, radar, and radio contact with the Edmund Fitzgerald just before the Fitzgerald sank in a squall 17 miles northwest of Whitefish Point in Lake Superior on November 10, 1975. Her captain reported the Fitzgerald missing to the Coast Guard and assisted in their search for her. The Anderson was named after the director of U.S. Steel and vice chairman of the J.P. Morgan & Company at the time she was built. She was one of three AAA-class ships built for the Pittsburgh Steamship Division of U.S. Steel, and she was lengthened by 120 feet in Franklin Shipyard in 1975. Arthur M. Anderson was converted to a cell phone loader during the winter of 1981 to 1982 at Fraser Shipyards here in the Duluth Superior Harbor. Although she went into temporary layup in 2017, she returned to service in July of 2019. But once again, we have the Arthur M. Anderson. She is 767 feet in length, built in 1952, and can travel a top speed of 13 knots or about 17 miles per hour.